What's up, everybody? Craig here. We're in part number eight of the Elden Ring Daggers Only Playthrough Challenge today. And uh, in the last live stream on f uh, Saturday, we took out um, many of the bosses in Altus Plateau. We got through about 15 of them, I believe. And uh, we have about six more that we're going to take care of today. And depending on how long that takes, we get those done. We're likely going to then go underground to the Ainzel River Main, uh, where we're going to start conquering that area as well. Uh, just as a reminder, the daggers only challenge means I can only use dagger class weapons. There will be no spirit summon Jews, no co-op help provided. I can use craftable items, but uh, we'll be using them sparingly. Uh, the only other exceptions are I, I can use a shield, but only for parrying purposes. And uh, when I get to Rykard at the Volcano Manor, uh, I, I can use the uh, gimmick sword. The, what is it? The Serpent Slayer sword, I think, that we get there to fight that boss uh but beyond that this is that that is the uh the, the overview of the daggers only run and like i said we're in part number eight we've cleared out lyernia we've cleared out limgrave we've cleared out the weaving peninsula and now we're close to clearing out the altus plateau so we're making some good progress here just uh seven parts through at this point and like i said we're going to continue the journey here today so uh, we ended the last live stream at the sainted hero's grave that's where we're going to pick things up uh, to kind of take on this dungeon as our warm-up for the day and uh, before we get started if you guys would do me a quick favor I know I asked this uh, quite a bit and I have to because uh, hitting those like and subscribe buttons are the best way that my channel grows so if you uh, haven't hit that like button yet go ahead and do that now and also make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to speed with all the Elden Ring content that I'm producing on this channel on a near daily basis at this point um, like I said you know, I can produce this content all day every day and no matter how good it is, if you guys aren't telling YouTube that, that you're enjoying what I'm doing and telling me you're enjoying what I'm doing by hitting that like button, uh, it's not going to go very far. That like button is the way that YouTube knows that uh, what I'm doing here is pretty awesome and they should spread it to more like-minded individuals. So really appreciate all of you guys who are already subscribed to this channel, those who are leaving those likes. I really, really appreciate you more than, more than, more than you know. All right, it's time for a sip of coffee and let's get after it. All right, let's go. So quick stat check. So we are at level 64 at this stage in the game. We have uh, we have a little buff applied because we have the Radagon uh, Scar Seal. So I think our Vigor is actually at 35. Endurance is at 10. Dexter uh, Strength is at 9, I think. So those are all given a buff of like 3 points. So um, have been, I think we worked on Vigor uh, in the last stream. We got it to 35. I do want to get it to 40 at some point here in the not too distant future. Before we get to Landell for sure. Especially using daggers. Uh, I do I have to get in close and take some damage by doing so. Crimson Seed Talisman. It's actually not a bad one. I don't think we're going to use it, but... I think it, yeah, uh, boost HP restoration from Flask. Oh, actually, never mind. That's a different one. I thought it was... Ooh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but I thought it was the one that if you have it equipped, it gives you more HP. So that actually boosts the restoration from the flask. That's kind of cool. I like that they have that, because especially for newer players, they're trying to play through this game and they're not finding sacred tears and their flasks aren't doing very much. It will allow them to uh, have a little help in that regard. Shadow, bays, and light, and those we know. Okay, so this is one of those where we gotta lure the shadow enemies into an area of light. To see them. And we're going to try to stay out of the middle this time. That way we don't trigger any of the pressure plates. Healing required. Okay. Oh, I bet there's a... I think there's a uh, Royal Revenant down below there. At least that's what that message would indicate to me. Oh, okay. There's a ladder there, isn't there? Yeah. Nope, it's a banner. I don't know that I've ever hit that wall before. So that one's already, already in the light. Yeah, 
Yeah, I bet there's a Royal Revenant in here, and that's not going to be fun with daggers. Oh well, let's give it a go. Alright, that worked out alright. I just kind of made the decision I was going in and wailing on it. I don't have any of the boluses that alleviates poison. Interesting. So you can, uh, I, I'm not using uh, incantations here, but yeah, you can use a healing incantation on the revenants and it actually does quite a bit of damage to them. Since this challenge does not allow that for me, couldn't do that. It's nice that when they enter that light, they <laughs> kind of get staggered for a minute. Makes it a lot easier. So yeah, that's where I was, was that up top there. We'll likely be seeing more than just that one Royal Revenant today. There should be one up at the Shaded Castle as well. So, don't know if I'll fight that one or not. Alright, we're gonna head this way. Get these guys into the light real quick. Come here, buddy. There we go. All right, let's go. Another hidden wall here? No. So so far so good today. Okay, let's. Uh, we'll need to go that way. Uh, okay. So what's ringing these bells back there? Ow! Didn't think that was so close to me yet. My depth perception was off. Has gotten here. It's good. Pathetic sword ahead. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go. Alright. I know there's something in here. I need to fall down in the... Uh, pretty sure I need to fall down in the middle there, even though I don't want to. Goodness. <laughs> Dropped into four of these guys, man. Pretty rough. All right, that's gonna be enough of that, brother. That's right, so enough of that, Stone Imp. Not a lot of glove work. Let's see, what are we missing here? <sighs> Lever? Ah, okay. That's what we're missing. Alright, looks like we're going to be going up top at some point here. Can I come back to life? 
Nah, they're jumping down from above, okay. You guys gave me a little more runes in this. Thing that guy can't aim with his hugs. I'd have been hurt. Oh. Spirit collar on horseback, huh? That's new. It wasn't, it wasn't too difficult, though. Alright, we're riding that up. Even though we don't need to. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he got me. Found the boss door. Let's go up this ladder. Wonder if this takes us up top. Or if we have to ride one of those blades up there. Alright, this looks like a different area. Well, that's perfect. I don't know how far that thing will chase me. Pretty far, apparently. Not easy. Thing had me holding my breath. Alright, now I want to go see what's down here. Alright, so we gotta get that guy up there to chase us down here. I think once we kill him, that opens the boss door. Even though I'm gonna be pretty much out of out of healing flask at that point. So we're going to get him to chase us, and we're going to go that way, and around the corner. If I have this figured out correctly, anyway. Alright, so there's some glove wart there. We don't need it. So we're not using spirit summons. Oh crap, I picked the wrong way. Wrong way, we gotta get him up here. Not a good strategy there. Alright, now we're alright. Come on big boy. I already committed to doing my unique ability. Alright, he's dead. The door open. Boss time. Let's go. I'm not sure what the boss in this area is. Cemetery Shade, maybe? Be nice if there was a steak of America in here. Aha! That's what I needed. I like that. Yeah, that doesn't help. So 
already short on healing flasks now. One more short. These messages telling me I'm missing something here. Try fire. Wary of Frost. Okay. Oh, Frost. Okay. That means it's probably an ancient hero of Zemor. Yeah, well, regardless, let's go. And it is. Surprised it let me hit it. Ah. Bad time to heal up there. All right. Yeah, you did dodge. Man, how'd that not hit? Got him. Oh, that sucked. That hurt a lot. Alright, let's go. Well played. Good luck, you're behind that pillar. Alright, we got him. We got the ancient hero of Zamor, baby. <laughs> nice. Nice. Alright, good stuff, man. If you guys enjoyed that uh, playthrough here of the Sainted Hero's Grave and the beatdown of that ancient hero of Zamor with this card stacked against us, give me a solid hit that like button for me, guys. I really appreciate you doing that for me. Just takes a few seconds of your time and uh, very little sacrifice on your part, but means everything to help me grow the channel, guys. I really appreciate you for doing that. Right, we got enough runes for a level, almost certainly. Good start so far. Good start. A couple streams ago, I was catching catching a lot of beatdowns early on. Or actually, the entire stream. So I'm glad to see so far this one's going a little better. All right. So up here we have round two with the ancient dragon Lanciax, I think. This is not, I don't, uh, yeah, let's go, I think I'm going to go back in here, even though we got to take this elevator. It's easy to pick up our runes, though, when we die to the dragon, but I also need to replenish all my blasts and HP. Yeah, I, I expect to die to this dragon at least once. I hope that I surprise myself, but. It's not an easy fight. It killed me three or four times, I think, on the first phase when I only had to get it down to half health. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Right. It's both of them. That's good. Okay. Dexterity seems to be the play. It's been the play for a while now. So maybe we'll get that up. A few more points and then we'll go back to Vigor. You know, depending on how fast I get through things today, I don't think we'll make it there, but uh, it's possible that we make it down to the Lake of Rot and get our Scorpion Stinger Dagger. Which, actually, I don't even know if I want at this point. Because this great knife right now has frost and bleed on it. Scorpion Stinger Dagger will have uh, Scarlet Rot. Alright, we got graves down here. I like that. Pick up some golden runes. Put a 
let me. All right, we got a six, a four. I get them all. I feel like there should be more here. All right, what's over here? Let's check this out. Ah, a sacred tear. I might have forgotten to even come down here. Good thing I saw it. Lightning Ram. Alright, dragon. This where you're at. Well, I thought it was somewhere up this way. Nice. Always like a good stone sword key. Alright, we are we came this way, right? This is how we got into that. Dungeon there. I'm not incredibly worried about fighting the dragon, but I think it'd be, you know, be good to do. Uh, this landscape looks familiar. I think it comes in right around here. There he is. Oh uh, yeah, this one was tough because it doesn't let you target it its feet. Wow. <laughs> Boy, that, that didn't take long, did it? it? Didn't take long at all. I did good damage to him though. You can only, only hit him three times and had him pretty far down. For only three hits, that really sucks though that brought me all the way back here. I'm guessing there's a stake of America around there. I just didn't didn't get back get get uh, near it. It'd be cool if it showed the stake of America's on the map. Probably make the map get pretty busy though. Go ahead and send that back down just in case. Seeing if there might be a stake America somewhere on here. Pretty far away from that dragon to where it wasn't going to hit me there. Of course, it didn't look like I was going to hit it either. Goodness, man. That dragon is tough. I, I remember it taking me a few tries on the last playthrough. That was with hammers, so it's, it's going to be tough with daggers. Uh, 
Uh, so there is a side of grace right here. Let's just go there. Let's be a little bit closer. Fortunately, my uh, daggers do a decent amount of damage to this dragon. Just haven't really had the chance to do much. See what you got. Actually, let's not see what you got. I've seen it and I don't like it. Yep, that they just, they just one shots me, man. One shot me. I think this is gonna be one of those where we gotta just take a few hits, get out, give it its space. not the kind of boss I'm good at. I am not, uh, patience is not a virtue that is strong with me. Onto the dragon. There we go. Come on, ancient dragon, Lanciax. All right, I thought I was out of range from that. I was wrong. Yep, the fire breathing is okay, I think. What are you doing now? What are you doing now, dragon? Got me so scared, man. Oh, I one shot me. Let's go. Ah, it's too far away from him, I guess. He relented. Missed me. Oh, I don't like it. 
like you, Dragon. You know that? I don't like you at all. I feel like he was baiting me in there. I'm guessing he was just in the air breathing fire on me or at me. I backed out. I don't want any part of that. All right, Dragon, what you got, man? I was lucky that nothing hit me there. Gosh, man, only get like one or two hits on him at a time. Sucks it doesn't let me target his feet. Going in. Don't kill me. I gotta get a little more greedy here. It's gonna take forever. Whack away and get out. Whack away and get out. Oh. Almost got me. Thought I was way far away. Yep, I'll stay out here. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're close. Don't do anything stupid, Craig. Couple of hits and we're out. Let's go. Couple more and we're in. We're done. 
Got him. There we go. Boy, that was long, and that was, uh... That had me on the edge of my seat, man, that whole time. <laughs> we got Lanciax's Glaive, a whole bunch of runes. 60,000 runes. Good deal. Good deal. All right. All right, we're next, guys. We're next. So we got An Ancient Dragon Lanciax. We got the Ancient Hero of Zamor. Uh, you know what? Let's go, uh... This is the Lux Ruins. Let's go here real quick. So this is one where I, I kept saying I couldn't find the cellar door. But I think I know why I wasn't finding it. What am I doing? We, we, got, we got a sacred tier to use. We got levels to go up. Two levels. Yeah, let's get dexterity to 40. Then we'll, then we'll go back to vigor. Get that up to 40. Okay, so... Eh, we could use some runes. I think we have quite a bit now. No. no. I'm okay. I'm okay. We don't need to use them. Alright, so I kept struggling. I'm like, where is the seller or the boss with the Lux Ruins? I know there's a boss here. The reason I wasn't finding it is because I was looking in the wrong spot. The Lux Ruins go over to the other side of this cliff. They're not just that little section there on the side. Not sure the best way to get up there. But we're going to figure it out. Right up there. That's where we're going. So then, let's see, where is it? Okay, so there's the ruins right down there. See, they go up top. I'm almost positive. Yes, this is it. Okay, perfect. Shut up with your screaming, man. Okay, so now we're in the Lux Ruins again. Some little guys out here, okay. I don't know, I think it's probably easier to get off a torrent here. Let's do a little one-on-one -on -one battle. Uh-oh. So he looked like he was winding up the swing. Alright, who else wants some? You want some little guy? Come get it. Rainbow Stone. Oh, why'd you disappear on me, Scarab? These guys are not difficult. Of 
difficulty level is not very high with them. Well, we have Steak America, though. That means whatever's down here might be a little bit more difficult. Let's go find out. Try lightning. Good luck. Okay. Let's go. Demi-human Queen Gillica. Alright, well that was not difficult at all. Not at all. Demi-human Queen Gil Gillica got beat down. What do you have for me? A ritual sword talisman. Let's check that out. I haven't seen that for quite a while. Raises attack power when HP is at maximum. Okay. I've definitely had that one before. I think the complete noob walkthrough, we, we got that one. I actually vaguely remember that we used it for a small amount of time during that playthrough as well. Okay, so now we got that taken care of. Let's see, what do we have left? Not not much left here in the old Altus Plateau. So we got the... Let's go, I got it. Uh, make a little, make a few notes here. So we got Ancient Heroes of Moor. We got the Dragon Lance Axe. We got a Demi Human Queen Gillica. Okay, so now what do we have? We have uh, there's a Writhe Blood Ruins that we haven't checked out yet, which is right up in this area. Which actually, I haven't done much up here. We went up to the Windville, Windville, Windmill Village, took out the Godskin Apostle there. And then never, never kind of went the other direction. So let's do that. And after that, we are going to head to the Shaded Castle. I don't feel like I really did much searching around here. I think there might be some golden runes or something, but nothing that's that big a deal. Alright, dexterity is 40, now we'll work on vigor. We got getting some good levels so far today. We gone up two or three. Alright, so we wanna hang a right. I will say, I am liking these daggers more and more as this playthrough goes on. Before they're leveled up a lot, they are, they're tough. But once, once you get, get some levels on them. And having the bleed and frost on them also is very, very helpful. Twin Night Swords. I'm uh, already suicide bombers. <laughs> Got an NPC over here, I think. I actually don't know if we can talk to him. I think we can. Oh yeah, he just didn't say anything. Dragon wound grease. I wonder if we killed him, what would happen? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave him be this time, but I am still curious. Rat. West Windmill Pasture. Oh, yeah, I remember this area. A lot of rats up here. The 
giant rat ashes. Pretty sure we're dying if I go that way. Right? I can't make that jump, can I? I see a lot of blood spots right there. That does not make me feel good about it. Let's go under the bridge. We live. We're alive. Uh, so I don't know what's down there, actually. I would like to find out. Maybe not. Worm face. Okay. I lied. I don't want to find out. That might be the first time I've been death blighted on this playthrough. Although I can't be certain about that. I don't think the worm face boss in Altus Plateau got the death blight on me. He did kill me. Now oh, we've got a caravan there. got our revenge. Yeah, I don't know what's down here. I don't know if I've ever been down here. I'm pretty sure there's not a dungeon or anything like that. Some nascent butterflies. Okay, I know where we're at now. It's uh, just taking us over to where the big worm face boss, boss was, so I'm not really that worried about going here. We've already been here. Just a different way down. Different way into this area. So where we're going right now, there's, I think, a lot of, uh, yeah, these dogs that flick blood loss on you. They'll bleed you out real quick if you're not careful. We're going to do our best to not let that happen. And I feel like I hear one walking around. There he is. Okay, let's go. Yeah, 
Man. Shoot, they, they sure do a lot of damage when they catch you. The fact that I just glowed up red tells me that that was probably the last of them. Alright, we're at the boss door here in the Rise Blood Ruins. Let's go. He's got blood loss too. Alright, Sanguine Noble, dead. Enjoy your nap. Enjoy your nap, sir. How many runes are you giving me? 8,800? Alright. I'll take it. Bloody Helis. I don't think that's a dagger. I think it's a sword. Bloody Helis? Yeah, heavy thrusting sword. That was that blood loss build up, though. No surprise. Okay, let's go. Now we're going to the Shaded Castle. And once I get away from these guys that are aggroing me, we'll fast travel down to the, whatever it was, old Altus Tunnel, maybe. Actually, while we're up here, we should get, there's a side of grace across this bridge. I don't think we've gotten yet, so we'll get that. But we will be making our way over here into Mount Gelmir. Cannot level up. We're not even close. Alright, so we are going to fast travel right here to the old Altus Tunnel. Come right out and then head to head up the valley. Yeah, I gotta go up, don't I? That's alright. How would I have missed that before? Not a huge deal, but you usually don't walk by glowing orbs like that. All right, all right. Here we go, there's the Shaded Castle. Surrounded by muck. wanted to get that at this point. We're going to go off to the side of the castle. And fight, uh, what is it, Marais maybe? I think there's a golem and then a recusant over here. Mariah is the executioner. I 
Hey, there you are. All right, melee Marais. With the ant spur rapier, Marais mask, Marais robe, okay. All right, now let's take this big boy down. Jump, jump. stagger on this guy. Not with these weapons. Would be nice though. Uh oh. Okay. Gave me enough time to get my dodge on. You can just fall off the cliff if you want, bro. I'd be good with that. Come this way, big boy. Let's go. Come on, big boy. I don't have to kill you, but we're this far in. We might as well get this done. Buddy, there you go. There you go. Thanks for the 2300 runes as well. Smithing stone five. That's solid. I think we need sixes now. I'm not 100% certain of that though. All right. Now we travel back to the shaded castle. Let's go. Got me. All right. All right, perfumer. I'll be back for you. We took no chances that time. I think there's another one up here. Yeah. I forgot about, about his buddy. I forgot about his buddy, though. I got baited. Actually, what would have been probably worse if I had been ducked down trying to sneak up on him and get a critical hit. That zombie would have tore into me. I don't want to 
right into that. Man, that. just as I ran out of my FP. Not this time. There's anything that important over here. The painting. Yeah. Champion song painting. Not that important as far as I'm concerned, anyway. Yeah, so as you can see, we didn't even have to go this way. I mean, got some runes for killing some enemies, got a painting. A golden rune. Not a huge deal. Well, we got 24,000. I think we still need, what? Yeah, not too many. 3,000 to level up. We can do that. One shot, baby. One shot. Something in this building? Nah, I don't think so. Alright, we're getting it done. Smithing stone four. Not that big of a deal for where we're at, but I'll take it. Alright. Now. Alright, so down there, there's that item. I think it might be a smithing stone or a somber smithing stone. That's where the Royal Revenant's gonna pop up. There's two of them in this area, actually. In the Shaded Castle. That's the first one. Neutralizing bolluses. Could've used that a little while ago. Got me. All right, all right, all right. I'll give it to you. Here, have that. Uh, I don't know what it's targeting down there, but I, obviously, I'm not trying to target something that's outside of this castle. Target lock in this game is very good in a lot of ways, but sometimes it can be very frustrating as well. And I'm trying to target that flower when I'm not even close to that flower. Oh, 
close that gap real quick, didn't he? Alright, I need to see where that guy came from. Alright, so we got a Scarlet Rot flower down there. There is an item down there that I think is decent. Where is it? Right behind you, huh? Okay. Smithing Stone 5, yeah, that's decent. Not great, but decent. <laughs> Alright, let's go piss off a Royal Revenant and then run away. Somber Smithing Stone 5, yeah. Not bad. All right, it doesn't look like Revenant followed us all the way over here, which is good. He could have his way with us while we're climbing this ladder. Right, a lot of these guys around here to try to get the drop on you. Say a lot of these corners. Oh man, he still caught me. <laughs> All right, well played, well played, sir. Well played. I think that might be a smithing stone up there too. Deeper into the bowels of the Shaded Castle we go. Yes, yeah, so over this way. All right, we got a few of these guys. All right, no, nope, not happening. All right, so there's one right in this corner, yep. You get surprised by these guys enough, you kind of learn what they do. And remember where they are. Pain is a good teacher. Oh, I wasn't ready for this guy. I was not ready. Oh, crap. I forgot I got to roll that. Scarlet rotted me, bro. Don't fall off, Craig. All right. Really don't want to fight him over this way. Alright. Thankfully our unique ability gives us a little bit of range, so I like that. Gotta have that range attack. Man, he was guarding a chest I thought I saw in there. Yeah. What you got in there, brother? Valkyrie's prosthesis. So that I think we give to Millicent. I never, I, I don't think any of my playthroughs I've advanced Millicent's quest line at all. Or I don't even know if it's considered a quest line. I guess it is. I mean, I've advanced it some, but definitely never advanced it very far. I'd love for my Scarlet Rot build-up to go away.
I need a side of grace stat. There actually is one over this way, I think. My memory served me crow. Oh, crap. This is not good. Right up here and to the right, there is a side of grace. There we go. Alright, so the Royal Revenant is actually right over here to the left, but what I remember the last playthrough, we fought that Royal Revenant, and whatever you get up there is not really worth it, so we're not doing that this time. We're gonna leave it alone. I see I made a map. Stone four. And we got our ladder right there. Let's take us up to get that item with that corpse that was hanging over the side of that, uh, above that bridge. I think there's more than that up here, though. Yeah. Oh, man. Not more perfumers. Can I sneak up on these guys? It looks like I can. I really need to. I don't know if there's anything over here that I even need. Eh, they leave something. Come on. Come on, baby. Are you stuck back there or what? Alright, building Moss Cave, really? Yeah, we got some perfumer trousers. Here we go. So I thought there was something back here. Smithing Stone 5? Okay. I'll take it. Another one, huh? Yeah, we're going to whale on this one. Come here. Well, I thought we were going to. Turns out that wasn't a great play after all. Miranda powder. Perfume bottle. Okay, so that wasn't really... That wasn't anything we really care about. Alright, let's just travel back to... the other side of Grace there. Alright, let's go. So the boss in this area is... Oh. Elmer of the Briar. Just one dog in there? House Mirai is ruined, just deserts, fall for falling for that severed harpy. No surprise that guilty Cretan took the castle in our sorry storied sword. Ah uh, yes, the Mirai's executioner sword. I think that's what we get when we defeat Elamer. Still got a little ways to go to get to him though. We're getting there. So I remember this area gets a little bit tough. There's a lot of dogs around. Hang out there, or you want to come out here? Look, come out, come on, come out and play. There you go. There's more in here, that's not it. I know that. Alright, 
Uh, let's see what you guys got up here. Don't see any enemies, so that's good. Perfumer's cookbook, okay. Now we can make perfumes that we couldn't make before. Okay, now I remember there being a knight out here. Now, where is he? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Where's the dog go? Knights across that bridge, that's right. Another one of these clean rot knights. Ooh. got the rod on me. I'll give him that. Good job there. It's kind of pretty, man. Get that statue all wrapped in colored leaves. Alright, I see you over there. All right, I hear something. What's going on? Right, you. Oh. Blame the bolts. Alright, this area out here is not easy. There's dogs. A knight. Not to have the dogs triggered too, but too late. We're dead. We're dead. I died a couple of times here the last time too. Not not an easy area. I feel like I need to run in here and be real aggressive killing those dogs. I think that's the play. Unfortunately, I think that knight I killed respawns. So we're gonna have to do that again. Same with these guys. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Let me out. That guy did quite a bit of damage to me, didn't he? Yeah, that knight's still there. And of course, he already sees me. He gone. Alright, so 
we're going to do this a little differently this time. Hopefully better. I don't want to walk all the way back up here again. my target. Alright, he's dead. There we go. Let's go. Alright, now we have the boss door, I believe, and a stake of America. Yes, there's the boss door. Patches may be up here, too. No? Alright. Let's go fight Elmer of the Briar here. We don't have many, uh, many blood blades we can throw at them, but that's all right. Actually, you know what? Eh, I don't know if we had any craftable items that would increase FP. Make some darts. Eh, that's okay. We don't need it. If we die, we die. We'll be back. Let's go. Dodging that really poorly. Really, this entire playthrough. Hey, yeah, I mean, that's okay. That's a pretty good attempt. No staggers on him, but we, we we get some good hits on him. It's gonna be tough. But we'll get it. Let's go. Sucks. I'm carrying so many runes in here, though. So I want to make sure we get them. Let's do it. I thought he was doing a different attack. And that's not a good place to be losing my runes. Not a good place at all. In fact, we may just be leaving them.
we got a runes back. There we go. There we go. We got the Mariah's Executioner Sword, Briar Great Shield. And uh looks like about twenty something thousand runes too. Twenty twenty I don't know what that was, twenty five thousand, something like that. Alright guys, got it done. We're done with the Shaded Castle, baby. Let's go. Let's go. If you guys enjoyed that boss fight there with Elmer of the Briar, do me a solid and hit that like button for me, guys. All the content I produce, all the fun I'm having on this channel, all the enjoyment you may be getting out of watching what I'm doing really doesn't go very far if you don't hit that like button for me. That's what tells YouTube that what I'm doing is enjoyable and they should be showing it to more people, guys. So really appreciate all of you who are leaving those likes and who are subscribed already. And if you're not subscribed, you want to make sure you get subscribed so you can follow along with this playthrough, all the future playthroughs I'll be doing in Elden Ring and, and other games as well, guys. Really appreciate every single one of you uh, who helped me out in that regard. Thank you so, so much. All right, let's level that vigor up another level. Okay, so we're done here. I think, let me check check my notes real quick, but I think we're done here now. Yeah, there's really nothing else. There is a... I mean, there's some bosses up in this area. Now, uh, what is it here, maybe? There's a couple of tree sentinels we can take out, I guess. Tree sentinel. Oh, there's also, I think, market down here. There he is. What's up, Margaret? Long time no see, brother. Guess that first whooping I put on you wasn't enough. Huh? You want another one? I thought I had enough distance. I was not rolling for some reason. All right, just jump on over. Jump on over. Why not? Whoa, whoa. I'm barely alive. I have the skin of my teeth. Right, we got we to gotta tighten up a little bit here, don't we? Oh, don't leave, Margaret. Don't leave. I'm not done with you yet. Don't leave, Margaret. I was getting greedy. I thought it was going to cost me for a minute there. Ah, right, we killed him. We killed old Margaret for a second time. Viridian Amber Medallion plus one. So that, I believe, increases our endurance. And this actually isn't the side of grace I wanted to go to. It's this one. One of them has a couple of tree sentinels outside. That might have put us at a level, another level. Sure did. We are at level 71 now, y'all. Yeah, right here. This is where they are. So these two tree sentinels, they, they give a decent amount of runes. Maybe something like 50,000. But you do have to kill both of them. Killing one of them doesn't... I don't think one of them gives, gives you anything. Dying to them also gives you nothing. Oh, 
Tell you what, man, he's put some heart on me when he hits me. Let's go, baby. Come on. Ah. Uh, oh. Get out. Get out. What's up, Clinton Music? Good to see you today, my man. Man, this guy's got a ton of help. Uh, I rolled that too early, apparently. to get out from that corner. Alright, one down. Clinton says, sorry I'm late. I was doing some invasions and got caught up. And man, it's awesome, man. I hope it was a good time. Hope you were putting a beat down on some some of the other players, man. That's awesome. No need to apologize, man. Always always good to have you when you can make it. Alright, so we got one of them down. Now we gotta go aggro the other one here, wherever he went. I don't know if I took out the more difficult of the two of these guys or not. I think I did. I think this one's a little bit easier. I don't want to fight him on this hill, though. Don't hit me with your torch, man. That's not fair. Oh, well, I'm hit. I'm hit. I knew that was it. That was it. It's tough to get a lot of damage on these guys until you get a bleed prop on them. that too early again story of my life always rolling too dang early all right here we go i got four healing flasks left let's say we're in decent shape here I'm all right with that. Oh, how'd I miss that? How'd I miss that? Oh, I got the freeze on him that time. Even better. You're dead, Tree Sentinel. All right, let's see how many we get. How many runes do we get? 50,000? 80,000? No, we get a lot. Only 20? Yeah, I guess we don't get a lot. Urtree, Great Shield, Heroes, Rune 1. All right. We are now officially done. Altus Plateau is taken care of. Uh, we were, I guess, technically in the outer skirts of Landell here. So we still have a few bosses up here. There's a Bell Bearing Hunter. Death, uh, Death Bird up here. A couple of caves, dungeons over in this way. We'll come back for that. Right now, we're going to head head underground. We're going to go to the... Actually, no, we're not. We're going to head to the round table hole just to see if we can upgrade any of our weapons yet. I don't think we can. We have picked up a number of smithing stones, but I don't think I don't think they're high enough level. Alright, Master Hugh, what's going on, man? Yeah, so we need one more smithing stone six and a smith somber seven. Alright, fair enough. So I believe the Ainzel River is how we get to the Lake of Rot, which is where we're going to get our Scorpion Stinger Dagger. That's why I'm choosing to go there first. I'm going to 
lot of ants up here, huh? Well, let me target that one. Well, let me target the one that's closest to me. What's going on here? Well. Alright, good. I only got three of them to come at me. Guess that's good. Alright, I don't know what those two are doing. You guys confused or what? You fighting each other? Come on. There you go. Ah, they're not too tough. Item. Race mimic. Oh. You try it. Alright, I got a feeling this wasn't the direction I wanted to go. I'm not sure where all these guys came from after I just walked right by them. They're hanging out in the ceiling or something. Oh, they were hanging out in the ceiling. All right, I'm going to come back here because I'm pretty sure this is where I want to go. Check out what's over on the other side of this area we entered in. May not be anything. I thought I saw an item. Yeah, there's definitely an item right there. Okay, yeah, this may be a dead end here. That's fine. We'll go pick up this other item. And head back where we were going. What you doing up there? Be awesome if I could use torrent down here. Torrent's scared of the dark. He's claustrophobic. All right, let's go to this nasty looking area. Smithing stone three. Yeah, I think I'm a little over leveled for this area. Not really intentional. Just like to take care of as much above ground as as possible before I head down this way. <sighs> On the last playthrough, I never found the, uh, the map in Ainzo River. Didn't matter. Pretty sure I went to most of the area here. Alright, this is the old palace ruins, I think. Probably just walked right by the map fragment the last time I was here. Try not to do that this time. Alright, we got a side of gray. Let's see where we're at for a level up. 4,000. I don't want to use that big boy. Let's use a couple of these. Bam! Alright, we'll get that bigger up to 40. We'll figure out where to go from there. Probably go back to Dexterity. <laughs> yeah, 
Clinton says, I don't have it either. I've ever underground map of that one. Yeah, I don't I'm not sure where it is. I, I actually I think I looked it up last time where it is. And I don't know if if I just walked by it. Or if it like maybe off and like off to the side a little bit and I just didn't see it. Makes me feel better. I'm not the only one that's, that's missing it. So this little area is very tempting to use a spirit summons. I know I'm not allowed to do that in this playthrough, but just to distract these guys so I can run through them. Later, dudes. I was going to go over here and take care of this guy. That ain't happening. Merchant. Hey, there's the map. Check that out. See that cleansing music? We found the map. <laughs> Is someone that cussed well? Yeah, you, you know, it might not be so long between customers if you weren't down here in the depths underground. We got the map, baby. All right. So I won't say it's not useful, but I mean, for the most part, it's pretty linear where you where you can go in here. At least that guy doesn't have any stone sword keys. Actually, I wish he did, but I'm low on runes. I'd have to use some of my golden runes to get them. Hitting triangle. Yeah, I didn't. I, I don't. I don't know why. How I missed that map the last go around. I must have just not gone into that little area where that merchant is. <laughs> oh well, it happens. All right. This looks like it could be a little bit tough. enough. Immunizing horn charm. Ah, oh, yes. These guys. I'm going to get death lighted if I'm not careful. So I'm pretty sure this leads to a dead end where we can over yep, we're just gonna oversee the lake of rot here. But 
Which is alright. This is where we want to go. Somber smithing stone three. Okay, so we should be getting close to here. Close to the lake of rot. Probably down here and to the left. I don't know why. I don't remember the underground areas as well. They're dead. They're dead. Guy at least got a little damage on me. I'll, I'll, give, him, I'll give you props. It's a good, good attempt. Melted mushroom. How useless. Okay, let's see where are we headed here. Ah, yes. This is where we get to the Lake of Rot. There's also a, what is it, Dragonkin Soldier in here. Let's go have a little fun, shall we? There he is. Have that. And this, and that, and that. Something tells me I should be getting out right about now. Yep. <laughs> all right. I don't. I don't remember all these attacks the last time we fought them here. I think I just got underneath them. Get out. Gotta get out, Craig. What are you doing? All right, let's flask up and get this done. Let's go. Alright, he gone. He gone. We got the frozen lightning spears. Our side of grace over there. Yeah, those guys aren't too bad. Really helped that I got a lot of damage on them with the Reduvia Blood Blade there to start off. Alright, we have no level to be gained here. Alright. And we got a coffin to ride in, I think, right over here. Not sure what it looks like. No, that's a chest. Never mind. No coffin. Great ghost glove wart. Yeah, he was really weak to bleed. I, I, I bled him out real, real easy. Is this it? I thought there was something else in this room. I guess not. I think I'm confusing this with the uh, where the twin gargoyles are. With the twin valiant gargoyles. Another coffin we ride in after that. Okay, well, I think we're done here. 
think we're done here in the Ainsel River, Maine. Now let's go to the Sayafra River well depths. Well, there's a lot of golden runes around here. From what I remember, anyway. We'll get to fight ourselves a uh, an ancestor spirit here pretty soon. again though I think I'm pretty high level for it so probably won't be too bad they're usually they're not that tough anyway he, he's not a tough boss with daggers it'll be a little tough so I have to get close to him but I'm gonna guess we're gonna get it done on the first try Pick that up. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I really have to jump up there to pick that up. A budding horn. Just don't mind me, guys. I'm just pillaging your area real quick, and then I'll be on my way. Just doing a little pillaging, you know? I'll be out of here, and you won't see me again. Get a drink of coffee. Good opportunity for it. Man, I was at a, a fair this past, uh, what was it, Saturday. So two days ago, I was at a fair over by my parents' house. They, like, locked down their neighborhood because they got, they got a, a big park that's, like, right next to their, to their neighborhood right across the street. So they bring a fair into this park anyway so every 4th of July we, we hang out there and they shoot off fireworks and everything it's a good time but uh there was a kid there walking around probably a 13 year old kid that looked just like my character here dude he had <laughs> without without the facial hair he had blonde like bleach blonde hair man it was hanging down to about his shoulders looking just like that I told my wife and kids I'm like you see that kid over there it looks just like my Elden Ring character and then I showed him a picture and I'm like, yeah he, he does you look just like Time to light up a bunch of bowls. Time to light some bowls. Well, the map for this area, I know where it is, right over there. I think. Yeah, which is weird because usually you don't find the maps on dead corpses. <laughs> All 
All right, so we've lit one of those. There's eight of them. Let's go find the other seven. Well, there's one up here. That's two. I feel like every time I do this, there's one that I miss. Like I walk past or something. Alright, there's another one. That's three. Wow. I had some range on him. Alright, I don't like you guys. That's twice you got me. He gone. Oh, great. Yeah, go on up there so we can have a legit fight here. Uh, pick up the item. Sliver of meat. Okay. Let's go in this cave here. I think there's a merchant back here. We're down here. Another merchant down here playing a violin, wondering why nobody ever comes to see him. That's where we were at before. All right, you got stone sword keys, so we'll take those. Goodbye. Later, dude. Let's roll, Torrent. All right, so I think, unless I lost count, we've lit three of those, three of those bowls so far. I think there's one over here. <laughs> there's number four. Halfway done.
here, Scarab. Ash of War, square off. Alright, here's number five. I know there's not one up here, but we're gonna go up here. Actually, this is where we're gonna end up going. After we defeat the, uh, Ancestor Spirit. Oh, it's already unlocked. We're good to go. side of grace up here. I'll take it. Alright, we gotta find three more bowls of light. There's one. That's number six. Whoa, what's up, rat? All right, we need seven and eight, which I'm guessing are going to be along this left side or near the middle, because those are the areas I haven't gone much to. Got to keep the eyes peeled. I made him mad. All right, there's number seven, I think. Uh oh, don't jump off. Missing one. Where is it? Blythe, is that you, boy? What's up, man? Good to see you. Apologies What's up, Blythe? But I don't have much to report. Yeah, that's all right. I can see bloody Nokron right above me, but I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Yeah, I don't like him either. Him He's space. a jackass. Shh. All right, yeah, you go, go take care of him. Besides. Leave this place to me. If either of us learn, leave this place. Either of us, and if we reach a dead end. All right. Why don't you tell me where the uh, where the next place is? I gotta go to light up, man. All right. That's gonna take me up top there, isn't it? I know the bowl's not up there. Somebody over there. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. 
course, there's somebody over there. But we can't get over there. Not this way. Thanks a lot, FromSoft. Nailed it. Anything up here? Oh man, after that perfect jump, you gotta give me something. Okay, let's find the last bowl and go fight the boss. Right, I didn't go in this area here. Yeah, I did actually. I remember it. There's the one I already lit. Oh, this is frustrating. Yeah, he's not lit up yet. I'm missing one. Where is the last one at? Usually those glowing uh, spirit enemies hang out by them. There it is. I'm dead. <laughs> Found it and died. Oh, uh, let me put a marker on the map. The only way to get over there is by using the waypoint at the four belfries. I know who's over there, but I forgot their name. Okay. Is that is that a NPC or is it somebody we fight? It looked like an NPC to me. Uh, which... Alright, so I know it's in the middle now. Yeah, I don't I don't ever go to those uh those transporters at the four belfries. I think I did on my first playthrough. Alright. That's that's gonna be enough of that. I did on my first playthrough just because I was confused about where to go, so I actually found it. You need a what is it, a glint glintstone like sword key or glintstone key or something like that? So you can tell how often I've, I've used them. Alright, is this it here? This is it. This is it. Alright, we got it. Let's not die. Okay. Ah, Crucible Knight. Okay. Yeah, those those are easy to remember. Until I, until I learned how to parry them effectively... Uh, they were always a tough fight for me. Now I, I handle them pretty easy. Most of the time. That's why I always, when I do these challenges, I always allow myself to parry. It's really almost only because of the Crucible Knights. I just don't want to have, I don't even want to mess with fighting them without being able to parry them. Let's go enter ourselves an ancestral spirit here. All right, let's do it. Let's go.
It's one of the cooler looking bosses in the game. A lot, I mean, there's a lot of cool looking bosses, but I like this one. This ancestor spirit is, look, looks awesome. that Redubia Blood Blade, I'd be having a hard time hitting him. Alright, that was pretty easy, actually. Cleansing says, I'm no good at parrying. Yeah, it took me a little while, too, man. I actually have a video on my, on my channel, something about uh, how to defeat Crucible Knights, maybe. Um, where I talk a lot about like how to time that parry, so I don't know, might be worth checking that out. I thought it was a pretty good video. It also helps to use the buckler. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I heard somebody say that uh, using this buckler, that the window for your parry, you, you get a lot more tolerance, so you don't have to be so perfect with the timing. Uh, where some of the other some of the other shields, uh, it's not so forgiving. I think this was not where I wanted to go. It is where I wanted to go, okay. So we'll take this elevator. Uh, we already unlocked it. Then yeah, we're going back up. Now where does this go? Kalid, maybe? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. So, I was mistaken. I was thinking we could actually get to the Lake of Rot. Yeah, it does go to Kaelid. Uh, before we fight Radon, but I don't think we can. We're going to have to go down. Go down into the depths after we fight Radon into Nokrin. And that's how we're going to get to the... Oh, to the other area. What is it? The Ancestral Woods, I think, is the side of grace. Anyway, that'll take us to the Valiant Gargoyles, which will allow us to get to the Lake of Rot. So we're still a little ways away from that. All right, we are in Kalid. Might as well grab a map while we're here. Actually, I don't think that map is easy to get to because it's up top. So this got a magic golem here, a magic archer golem. I actually don't want to go this way. I know what's up here. But I'm not a fan of it. Go ahead, shoot. All right. So we're about to fight, uh, whatever this is, the Alexander's Champions or whatever it is. And it's not easy. Not an easy, not an easy fight. Alright, so now I can see these guys. Okay. Let's go. Probably should have killed that guy up there, shouldn't I? Oh, 
that hurt. That hurt. It's got that that uh we got that moon, moon veil. Dual wielding the moon veil, maybe? Dead. Yep. Yeah, this is a this is a tough fight up here. All three of these invaders are not easy. They didn't want to come here yet. And so we're not going to. You know what? We're gonna go. Uh, I don't know. Is Kaled? I guess Kaled is kind of where we want to go at this point. I'd rather just go ahead and go through this area. Let's go to this jail tunnel here. I think is what it is. All right, so we're gonna travel to the number two. Go ahead and put some beacons here. All right, Kayla, it is, ladies and gentlemen. And then I would say pretty soon we're going to go ahead and make our way over to Red Main Castle after we explore this area a little bit. And fight Radon. So we can finish up the underground areas. I'm a little higher level this playthrough than I was when I fought Radon the last, but I think it was like 65, maybe I could be wrong. For some reason I think I thought I was like at level 65 or something like that on the last playthrough when I fought Radon. I think I went to him after uh, Lyurnia. I don't know if I went too deep into the Altus Plateau. Figured we'd check this place out while we're here. I don't know if there's a boss, but I'm pretty sure there's a cellar. At least I felt pretty certain about that. Now I'm not so certain. Man, we melting that place. Alright. Fair enough. There's some more ruins over here. Are they different? Or is that also the Kalem ruins? Just a continuation of them. No, this is the Forsaken Ruins, okay. Whoa. Take it easy. Oh, of course. Alright, what we got for us down here? Sword of St. Trina. Alright, that is not a dagger. Straight sword, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, what did that say? Sleep buildup. That's really cool. 
sleep build up and 66 that's pretty uh pretty strong sleep build up that is really awesome actually I know I've gotten that sword before, but I forgot all about it. Here's our jail tunnel. Have a nice fall. Somber 2, okay, so that tells me we are, yes, uh, quite a bit higher level than this tunnel is going to require. Oh, there he is, there he is. How'd that fall feel? That feel good for you, buddy? I liked it. All right, guys, so uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to call it quits here in the jail tunnel in Kalid, but uh, we did, a, did a, I made a lot of progress today. We went through uh, Altus Plateau, finished that off, cleared out, I think, the final five or six bosses there. Went through the Ainzel uh, River area, then to the Syofa River, took out the Ancestral Spirit there. And we will be uh, heading heading uh, further underground after we make our way through uh, some of the dungeons here in Kalid, and then head over to fight Radon, and then open up uh, Nakrin there down below uh it's really uh we're getting getting quite a bit into this game man after after Kalid and the underground area it's just uh lane dell and then i would I, I i typically consider after lane dell it's end game i mean you got the mountaintops of the giants crumbling far missoula uh we'll head over to the secret hallig tree and underground of mogwin's palace um but yeah i mean just uh yeah just make making some good progress here we're only in part eight too so um uh, how, how see how long we've been we've been playing here we got 18, almost 19 hours in. So yeah, I mean, we'll ho hopefully we can get this wrapped up by about 40 or 45 hours, and maybe even maybe do a little better than that. Uh, but that that will do it. Uh, cleansing music, great having you with me again today, man. Always always appreciate you hanging out with me, and uh, you know coming along for the ride and the input you provide and all that, man. I really appreciate you, brother, and uh, wish you a great great uh, Independence Day if you are an American like I am. And uh, for those of you who are hanging out and those of you who are going to watch this after the fact, if you would make sure you do me a solid, hit that like button. Really appreciate you for doing that. That is uh, the best way that this channel grows. It's the only way this channel grows. And uh, so, sorry I have to ask, but it's just human psychology. If I don't ask, those of you who, who watch what I'm doing, and even if you're getting a lot of enjoyment out of it, finding value in it, uh, just human nature is, you're probably not going to take the time to hit that like button if I don't ask. So, that's why I got to ask, guys. Really appreciate you for for liking the videos and uh, helping me to grow this channel and get more eyeballs on what I'm doing. Uh, so that'll do it. Really appreciate you guys for being here with me. Have an excellent rest of your day. We'll be back live tomorrow morning.